Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So, day two of looking for Regna. So, I'm going to start um, with the used areas out here. So, I went to book off yesterday with Sarah and Matt, and I wasn't able to find a Regna or anything that you know resembled a regna so i'm gonna go to the book off closer to the hotel i found one that um is pretty close to here it's maybe six or seven train stops away we've walked past this book off many times and never have gone in uh, so hopefully since it's close you know i can just peruse and see what kind of cool rackets or maybe even a regna can be found. Almost time to go. Inside of this will be a sporting goods store called Super Sports. Let's go. So I'm at the mall in a Lala port and I'm trying to get to Super Sports. So here's the Super Sport, the Super Sports ZVO. All right, let's see. There's tennis stuff in here. Looks like there's Nike clothes. Finally at the section, Casper Rudd, Mr. Yonex here now, just checking out the wall. some turbos here I don't like that red in the back the black in the front though definitely meant for hard court hmm. I don't remember this part in my shoe so approaching the tennis section over here <coughs> look this cute sign that says tennis right there Not sure who that is, but that's definitely the person holding the the racket that's down there. You know, we got Yvonne Lendl over there, Sergio Ticini. This is the jackets from 1959. Something Hole of Fame, Hole like H O L E, from what I could see. Yeah, display over here. That Slazinger on the right. Wilson in the middle. Dunlop. It says Lena on it. Kind of a cool display. I'm not sure what it says on the bottom there though.
Looks like they string with a Yonex PT8 Deluxe. And they're stringing a badminton racket on here. Wow, 27 pounds. That's on the high side, in my opinion. But, hmm, I'm not a professional. So we're gonna go into the book offs here and see what we can find. Found an Arrow Pro Plus. That's like 20 something bucks. No grip, no strings though. Grip size of that. Oh, check out that butt cap. Old school. Hmm. Some of these bags over. That's nothing to write home about. Sting. is a sting. Hmm. $18. <laughs> what is this? For 20 bucks. Roll on Garros Pure Dries. Kind of beat up here. Price is right. We got some kind of specs on here. Twenty something bucks. Not bad. All right. So we got Dunlops heads. Ooh, there's a. Why is this so cheap? Is it all beat up? Oh, it's a Roland Garros. Decima. Oh, wait, what is this? Why is there Regna markings here? What the heck? Found a Regna, but it's a hundred. It's kind of all beat up. They still want about a hundred and fifty bucks for it, though. Oh. Move on. Black. Made in Japan. Nope. Ooh, we got some DRs here, though. I might wind up. So this DR98 intrigues me. It's 330 grams. I'm guessing that's strong on a 98. Um, huh. Pretty good condition, too. 3 8 grip. Strong. Synthetic gut. That's pretty good condition, man. Might need to get that. Hmm. All right, guys. Just got back from the book off at Manami Station. I'm going to link um, the address below to the book off that I just went to. And I'm going to show you what I bought. But before I do that, it is a beautiful night here in Tokyo Bay. And I'm so fortunate to have such a great view. So I'm going to actually show you a quick view before I talk about what I bought. So here's what the chapels look like at nighttime. So that's the modern chapel over here on the left. This is the traditional Japanese chapel on the right, if you want like a traditional Japanese wedding. Let me show you what I actually bought. So I went into the book off and I had to shoot by myself because I didn't want to cause a scene in there uh, of having somebody shoot me. So I actually held the camera in my hand. So I'm sorry about the camera work to start. And I probably spent two hours in there pondering if I was going to buy that uh, Regna or not. <laughs> I was just so shocked to find a Regna in there. 
even though it was a Regna 100 first generation. Um, they still wanted a hundred and I'll say 40 bucks for it in there somewhere. So I was like, oh, if it wasn't so beat up, I, I probably would have and should have gotten it because it was a Regna. Uh, and then I kept looking at the Yonex DR98s. They had three of them the two blues and then the one yellow and green. And I was like, end of the day, I said, what should I get here? I wish I had a bigger suitcase. <laughs> so I did buy the yellow one. I bought the yellow and the green one in a four and a quarter grip. Probably shoot, you can probably see a better view of it now. Um, DR 98 and I paid it's 9,073 yen which is essentially 80 bucks maybe 70 bucks in there somewhere about 70 bucks for it so that's for DR guys, right? 70 bucks. And then the other one I bought was the other E Zone DR98 in the blue. Also four and a quarter. This one's in pretty good condition. It's not as in good condition as that other one that had the 330 numbers on it. Um, that one was really good condition. And I got this one for 7,346 yen. Essentially, maybe 60 bucks, 55 to 60 bucks in there. And that's actually not in bad condition. Um, they kept it pretty, pretty good. I don't see many paint chips here, just some scuffs. So I'm pretty happy with my uh, purchases out here. If you're coming to the uh, if you're coming to the Japanese area, check out these book offs, especially if you're looking for older rackets or or older favorite rackets that you may have. You'll probably find it in pristine condition. If you need help getting around Japan look up matt and sarah they will take you to wherever you want to go in the tokyo area the tokyo area is actually huge it's not just like tokyo tokyo is like a vast vast and big um prefectures a lot of them it, it's kind of the size of california <laughs> Northern California. It, people think of Tokyo as, Ink. no, it's huge and it's grand. So get some help and have a local take you around. Want to play some tennis? Matt is a pro. So click on the link below if you need some help getting around, maybe a little help planning, a little help getting on the train. They will actually guide you. They will take you to wherever you need to go okay um they help me out a lot i saved so much time getting around in japan it was ridiculous and i've been here many times um, but but look them up if you're coming to japan it will be a great time saver for you all right so that's what i got at the book off thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis in Tokyo. Guys, are you tired of playing against the ball machine? The ball machine always wins and you're not really getting any interaction 
with people? How about playing with somebody at your level or maybe a little bit better than you that can improve your game? There's 27,000 people nationwide waiting for you to play with. It's all at playyourcourt.com. You can find your new tennis friend, join local leagues, all for less than $5 a month. You'll have access to players at your level, your speed, and make some new tennis friends. Check it out at playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. Thank you.